So guys, today we are going to uh, write a program that will calculate the simple interest. So we'll start with program, program name as usual. So after that, the next is implicit non. So after doing this, we know that the next thing to do is to declare our variables. So we're going to actually you can use this comment line here. Remember, we can use our comment line anywhere we want. We just it's flexible. You can just decide to add it or leave it. So I just wrote declare variables. So the next thing is to actually declare our variables so i'm going to use real that's real numbers to declare my variables here so i have i for interest i have p for principal i have t for time and i have r for rate so after this the next thing i'm going to do is to put an output statement that is right so when i put up my up output statement now remember when i'm using my right i like to impute everything in a quotation mark so i'm going to write um this is a, a computer program to compute the interest of a given amount when Given the time and rates. So on the next line, we are going to still have them um, an output statement. So we can can still make use of a print statement for this like instead of using write we we'll still get down to the same results right so let's try print so we have a please impute please and um, it's spending it an error there please impute the value for the principal, that's the principal amount, okay, you impute the value for the principal amount denoted by P, and then the rates denoted by R and then the time denoted by C. Now when I've written all these I would have to still include them in my quotation mark and then what do I have to do next? I can decide to write a little comment to guide um, anybody trying to still read through my program so I see here by using the above principle time and rates or by using the above and print and write statements. Mm. 
what we are going to do is Okay, so we we'll decide what the computer should display for anybody running the program, right? So that's the essence of our write and print statement as we know. So if we are able to tackle these and perhaps um, come to this realization now that we've displayed what the computer wants you to do you would make an input and you want the computer to read whatever you have pressed in the read statement so that the computer can use it to make further calculations right there so i'll say as i'll write here another comment which is the next line will be a read statement right which it does work now. Um, okay, so the read statement actually specifies how the computer will. store the inputs so once you make an input the computer has to store it as something so as to be able to use it right so how the computer would store that input is written down in your read statement so you use the read statement to decide what the computer stores each of the inputs as so are we good to go all right so i'll have here my read So when I write my read statement this way, I'll say um, read. Next thing I would want the computer to read is the principal. So I want it to read it as P, then read the rate as R, and then read the time as T. Now note that this P, R, and T corresponds to the initial variables I have declared in step 4 as P, uh, P the, the B here, the T here and the R are corresponding with this P, R, T that I have declared here from, from my step 4 and step 9 these two actually are the same now the reason i'm doing this is i'm linking these to my declared variables such that these variables i placed here in step four i am giving them values 
in step 9 and where are these values coming from they are coming from the input value i just hope you understand this so estimate the comment line here so the comment line here shows it says this shows that the computer will store our first input value as principal and then it will store the second value as um, rate which is r and then lastly it will store the the third value as time which is t in this case now you can see that uh, in the read statement i made use of p r and c and this is because this is for a reason actually the reason is this um, when i declared my variables i used p and c and r so i have to still use the same alphabets in my read statements so that they can correspond because if i use something different in my read statement you'll see that my read statement would not correspond with the variables i declared and therefore at this point the program will not run so in the next line of code what we want to do is to give our interest a value and we'll do this by just making a simple calculation now and you also have to understand this this is principal times rate times time that's p times r times c now remember at this point that values have been allocated to p r and c so those values what this line of code will do is to multiply those values for p for r and for t and then divide them by 100 and now store it in the memory location of i which is interest so when this is done when this is done on the next line of code all we are just simply going to do is to print our results so we can do this in several ways now look at what i'm going to do i want to write something before i print my results i say the the interest is now if you look at this statement it is in quotation mark it is in quotation right so now look at this my i is not in quotation because i want to pick it direct from here i want to pick the value of i and not just i as a statement is that okay so when i'm done with this the next thing is to end my program so i'll do end program the program name which is interest so when i'm done with this i'll save my file I already have the file name so I'll save it so when I save I'll build it when I build it the next thing to do is to run my program so I'll, get, I'll go ahead and run my program so when I run my program let's see what comes up so you see my first and second um, write statements or output statements or print statements as the case may be that's the first thing i'm seeing on the computer so i'm putting 120 for my principal amount and then i press enter put five press enter again and put three for my rate and time so now you see the interest is 18. all right
right guys so we are right at the end of this session if you enjoyed our video please like and comment also in share to share and subscribe for more tutorials like this thank you